Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. On behalf of Asian University of Bangladesh, I extend greetings of Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak to every one of you. Ramadan is a special month for the Muslims. As the Quran says that this is the month to acquire the quality of taqwa, God consciousness. This is the heart of the Islamic teaching that every Muslim should acquire this quality of God consciousness, become muttaqi. This is the month of forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives his servants generously in this month. So everyone should take the opportunity of getting that forgiveness. As Prophet of Islam Muhammad وسلم, said that the people who fast in the month of Ramadan, all their past sins will be forgiven. People who make qiyam, they offer prolonged night prayer, their all past sins will be forgiven. People who pray in the Laylatul Qadr, they are all past sins will be forgiven. So this is the month of forgiveness. This is the month of Rahmat, Maghfirat and Nazat. Allah extends His Rahma, uh, His kindness, His, his Maghfirat, His uh, forgiveness and um, Nazat, the um, setting from the hellfire. This is the month of Zakat and, and Sadaqah that the uh, reward for sadaqah and all other ibadah is multiplied many times. So Muslims take this opportunity of paying their annual compulsory uh, poor due zakat in this month and pay uh, generously other charities um, to get more reward. Uh, this is the month of um, feeling for other human being. When a person um, keeps him away or her away from food and drink for the whole day, before dawn to dusk, the uh, feeling of uh, hunger and thirst uh, need not be explained to him or her. So this um, practical experience of uh, the feeling of hunger and thirst should encourage people to help the poor, the needy who doesn't have enough to live a good life. So th this is another teaching that the Muslim should uh, implement in the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is a training starting from uh, obeying the order of Allah, the things that were allowed during the daytime in other months of the year is prohibited uh, in certain time, daytime, in the month of Ramadan and Muslims obey that. So this is a training of how to follow the instruction of Allah. When Allah says do it, Muslim will do it. When Allah says don't do it, Muslim will be away from that. So that's the practice and training. This training of one month, it's not just one day or two, it's prolonged month, should make an enduring change in the behavior, attitude, and approach of every Muslim. So we become a better person at the end of Ramadan. This training would be rewarding if we can improve ourselves to be a better human being, improve our akhlaq, our quality, our behavior, our manner, and dealing with other people, then we will be achieving the objective of Ramadan and this training should be extended during the other months of Ramadan so the training become useful and meaningful. The teaching of Ramadan or practice of Ramadan should not be limited in the month of Ramadan. This training should be extended beyond Ramadan and may Allah give us the ability to fast with Iman and Ihtisab so we can get our sins forgiven. May Allah don't include among those people who will be cursed because of being failed and get the sins forgiven in the month of Ramadan. May Allah give us the best time to meet him as a fasting person so we can get the entrance of Jannah through the door of Ayan which is exclusively for the fasting people. We feel for the whole Ummah, the whole mankind that the people who are in distress, who are op under oppression, may Allah release them in this month. People who have need, people who have sick, may Allah give them, uh, the, uh, fulfill their needs and give the shifa. And uh, this, this uh, month be uh, rewarding for every one of us. And we, we hope that uh, not only the Muslims, but the entire humanity will benefit from the teaching of Ramadan uh, with, through the Muslims and through the Quran. Because the Quran was uh, revealed in this month and Quran is the guidance for mankind, not just the guidance for the Muslims. And the guidance of Quran can only deliver goodness uh, for individuals, groups and humanity at large. So in this month of Ramadan, let us 
review the Quran, let us try to understand the Quran more and more and benefit from it. So this month has lots of benefits, lots of things involved in Islamic practice and that cannot be summarized uh, in a, a short message like this. But I think the Muslims will throughout the month will explore all possible avenues to get benefit from the Ramadan and implement his teaching in their personal life, collective life and then benefit from it at large. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.